Hey guys, it's Danny the Traveler, and I am here with Rocky the Traveler, and we have a couple of family birthdays coming up, and you know what that means? That means it's shopping time. So uh, guess who's coming with me? We're gonna check out some stores that I have been told are pet friendly, and uh, we're gonna see how Rocky does when he goes inside. And um, yeah, maybe he'll help me shop, so we'll see. So let's check it out. We had a few stops to make, and so I went online to see if they were pet friendly. The first stop was American bookseller Barnes & Noble, which to my surprise, welcomes dogs in their shops. The only thing off limits was the cafe inside. I did a bit of book browsing by sections with Rocky keeping me company, but he seemed to be more interested in the carpets. I wonder if there's a carpet floor book section around just for Rocky. And it looks like we're done rolling around. Maybe not. Rocky then finally chilled out when I sat down in the bio section. Maybe he finds it quite boring. After that, we took a trip to the outlets in Daytona Beach, which I read that dogs are allowed to walk around outside of the shops, but to go inside, it's completely up to the store. So I asked the staff if Rocky could enter, and they said that he was most welcome. Actually, what they said was, is that the target dog? And then they said he was definitely welcome. Now help me find a gift, Rocky. Use your nose. Okay, so maybe I should look at the coats? Or maybe he just wants to stay warm. Come on, boy, you're not that old yet. Our next stop was the department store Ross, where I also read was dog friendly. So let's check it out. The cool thing is the shop had a small pet section with tons of toys, but even cooler than that, 
is that they had some Bull Terrier cleaning wipes. I guess Ross must know how messy they are. We returned another day to another Ross. And again, Rocky was welcomed with open arms in the store. All pets are welcome, by the way. Rocky is not a guide dog, as you can probably tell. We also found the same Bull Terrier wipes. As you could guess, I definitely bought these for Rocky. Like most people, Rocky started to get pretty tired of all the shopping, but we still had one more stop, and it's a huge store. One of the biggest department stores in America, Macy's. This place gets pretty packed, and it's known for having some big brands, so I was quite surprised to find out that you can bring your dog inside. We came here toward the end of the day though, so there weren't too many people wandering around. I can only imagine coming here on a Black Friday though. I must also stress that I intentionally brought Rocky here later in the day and away from peak hours because I'm fully aware that not all shoppers out there are dog people. Anyway, back to shopping. Rocky, let's follow your nose. To the shoe section, all right. You're a big help. We walked around the store a bit more and felt almost like we had it to ourselves. Oh, and you won't see it here, but a few of the employees did say hi to Rocky and they were delighted to see him. I think Rocky is trying to say that I should just buy a rug as a gift. At least that's what I understand. After a while, I could see he was getting tired, so it was time to go. Come on, boy, let's go. Though he couldn't help it, and he had to check himself out in the mirror before we left. All signs point to a tired shopping day, and I think that's enough shopping for Rocky, for now. It's probably time to go to a pet-friendly bar. Thanks guys for joining us here and we'll see you on the next adventure.